I'm getting lots of questions from students that are building SDA home labs. And what that means in the long run is, is you need to understand how to integrate all of the components together. In the previous video, we looked at how to build an IPAM server. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to onboard an ICE server. And if you guys will give me three minutes of your time, I'm going to show you how to get it done. In this demonstration, we're going to add an ICE engine to our DNAC. To do that, we're going to go to the System 360 console. We're going to scroll down. We're going to select Configure and add the ICE engine. IP address will be 100.64.0.120. Our shared secret is ICE is cool. It is an ICE server. Login is going to be admin. Again, ICE is cool. The fully qualified domain name is going to be ise.micronicslab.com. I will utilize a subscriber name of DNAC 1.3.1.7, and I'm going to activate TACAX as part of this installation. Hit apply. We can see that it's transitioned to in progress. Once it transitions to active, we will move to the ICE engine to validate configuration and to approve any pending operations. Now that we're in an active state, we'll go to the ICE engine. Under the Administration PX Grid Services section, we will refresh. And we can see that we have our client as being registered for both the NCP, the Network Control Plane engine, as well as the Network Data Plane engine. However, I'd like to point out that the Data Plane engine is in a pending state. We will need to modify that by selecting it going to approve all pending approve all now our final verification will be to return to the dnac from the dnac we will go back to system 360 scrolling down we should see that we have an active primary and we have an active and available px grid entry we've added our ipam and our ice engine now it's time to move towards the concept of design 